Hello, 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 everyone. Oh, this is Jordi from Jordi Jones. I welcome you to Gok's, Gokcom's program today on Saturday. We have some good program for you in store. I have the honor to start us off today with more of this here, the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I have two questions for you before I jump right into it. First, uh, did you see the, the text in the little scroll band down there? Uh, I looked at the preview and it didn't show. So if, if, you, if you can enlighten me, if you guys in the chat were able to see that, that would help me a lot. Second question, GMC82, hello, welcome to the stream. You are dropping out a lot. And I wonder if this is a thing. Am I somehow... I don't know. Is it maybe my fault? I all you guys having problems with the stream? Is the stream okay for you? Yeah, the scroll van. He, look at this. Uh, thing about that. Okay, thank you, thank you. So I'm happy to be back, to finally uh, be back to play more Star Wars for you. Uh, we left on a high note last week on Sunday. Um, we discovered Atris, the last standing Jedi. And um, while I was ch having a little chat with her, we had some history together. My companions were engaged in the usual you know, very impossible cages of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And uh, yeah, um, Atten and Kreia were having a nice chat over there then as well. And that was really, really great story writing. If you want to uh, write a story yourself and want some hints how to do it, watch that cutscene again. It was awesome. If you want to do that, by the way, I'm uploading my Knights of the Old Republic playthrough to my YouTube channel. So you can see it there, if you want to see that again. Stream is stable for me, says Herxena. Awesome. Alphador7 says, yeah, I can read it. We come to... what? No, 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 no. The L is there. The L is there, I hope. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Go over there and read that. And then from this moment on here, we shall continue today. We just agreed uh, to um, helping Atris collecting Force Adept people all over the world to help in the upcoming battle, whatever that is. And uh, yeah, that is our mission right now. Uh, let me welcome everyone to the chat. Mr. Tufnell, of course, hello. Uh, GMC82, you say, oh no, I just thought the thong said that. Sorry for the, co oh, it's GMC, okay, now I gotcha. <laughs> okay, that clears it up. Thank you, GMC82, for the, for the feedback. And old Dodger, of course, Sher Sherry and Ray Dyke. Alpha Door 7, Dark Daedalus, hello, Rothkeen, hello. So many nice people in chat. Thank you for joining us. This early on a Saturday. We always start out slow on GOCOM. With people and then over the time they come together. So let's get in here. By the way, guys, if uh, the game is too loud or if my voice is too loud, let me know. Just let me know if the game sounds to voice ratio is okay for yeah. Let's jump into the game. Ten minutes in. That's 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 a first for me. That's a first for me. Uh, Alpha Door Seven, Jordi Jones, the same unbreakable cages you break out of every time. Yes, yes, these are the cages. <laughs> So uh, on this uh, platform here, on this ramp, we had that little discussion, Atris and I, and I want to know what happens if I were to follow her. So let's move over here. By the way, please note the clothes that I'm wearing. Awesome Jedi robe in green. But I'm pretty sure I would bet on it that your first look went right into my face, or what looks to be my face. Or doesn't look to be my face on this t t terrible, terrible mask that I'm wearing. But it gives good stats, so th that's why. Alright, okay. This is how the uh, console should look like, right? The Jedi console. 
Nice. Let's see if we can find Atris again. Old Dodger says, it's okay for me, says, uh, says Old Dodger. Great. Akana, hello! Thank you for joining us. Brainspoon, hello. This font is intensely small. Which font? Which font? Uh, you, you say the font... Hmm... You mean the font in the chat that I'm uh, showing you on the chat display? Nothing, you can't get in, says Akana. Oh, you guys know what's happening. Meditation chamber. This door is cold to the touch and there seems to be no conventional means of opening it. I like that this is just not uh, the generic, no, you can't get in. <coughs> Nothing in here. It's giving you uh, some nice description of why it's not opening. It's okay. Hello, Hobby Now. Thank you for joining us. You didn't miss much. We just started the game and checked out whether we can talk to Atris again. But we can't. Why have you approached me? Uh, um, I was interested. I mean, in what's going on here, of course. The even hawk, where is it? This is what we are, you know, this is what we came for here. Tell it. Say it. Tell it. Say it. Speak! Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place, and permission to return if you remain in her service. Wow! Thank you, Atris, for giving me so many permissions. I had no clue that I had to ask you for everything. I'm looking for a fight. I had some other questions. I'm searching for my friends. Yeah, I had some other questions. You may ask. Thank you. I want to know about this place. Yes. This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. Ah, she has a sexy lisp. It survived the orbital bombardment lisp. of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. Uh huh. Akana says, "Sorry, Jody Jones, knee jerk reaction. I'll not be a sport sport from now on. It's okay, Akana. It wasn't. It wasn't really saying much, so it was fine with me." Ah, brain spoon. Okay, I got gotcha. you. More just the text in the game. It's my TV's fault. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I will always read out the the answers that I'm going to give, and um, thankfully. Most of the, or all of the text from the NPCs are voiced, so even if you can't read the, uh, what they are saying, you can at least hear them. Why is Atreus here? Shortly before the destruction of Dantooine by the forces of the traitor Jedi Malik, Atreus had many Jedi artifacts and knowledge transported here secretly. That was very wise of her. How did she know Dantooine would be destroyed? The Jedi Council sensed it. Master Vrook, Master Vandar. But it was too late to do much except make arrangements for evacuation. It was a dark day for the Order. Many on Dantooine did not survive. Jedi or not. Atris would not speak for many days after the attack. And we feared our mistress was lost to us. In time, she regained her voice and her strength. She brought the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi here and has kept them safe. Wait, so they knew what was coming and they allowed a single Jedi to die in that attack? What? Buffons! Why were the relics brought here? Well, that's a dumb question because they need to be safe. Artifacts? What yes, artifacts? Many relics from Dantooine. Some which predate even the destruction of Ossus. She was not able to save all, but she saved enough. She was able to bring them here before the Academy's destruction. It was a fortunate thing. She was not able to save everything. Any lightsabers in the collection? I would ask that if I were, you know, into this, into lightsabers, but I'm not. I'm into blasters. So was there some holy blaster there? Holy blaster of Antioch? That was what would be an awesome blaster. Okay, I'd like to see some of this Jedi knowledge. Viewing the relics is not allowed without Atris's permission. Thank you, Brain Spoon. Oh, viewing the relics is not allowed with a But I'm a Jedi! If I get permission, will you allow it? 
Uh, what a dumb question! Why are people always asking for permission? Just do it, guys. Persuade. Aethos has allowed me to walk freely here. Surely that implies trust. There is truth in Success. what you say. Yet many such artifacts are sealed away in Atris's chambers. Oh, Atris. But if you wish to see a few of them, speak to the last of the handmaidens. She has seen some of these objects and has an interest in such things. Oh, okay, I shall do that. The last of the handmaidens. Hmm, does she have a nice little... Like you, yeah, let, let's inquire. Last of the handmaidens. Yes, she should be in the training chamber to the north and west of here. She okay. constantly seeks to improve herself so that she may no longer be ranked last among us. Oh, that's that's cool. That's cool. She In, in some contests, she, she got last, and now she is called that? <laughs> oh, oh, man. This is this is uh, this is more cool than a playground in a kindergarten. Anton Slavic eighty three, thank you for joining us and for speaking up. Especially, you say good. I thought I was late, but it does not start at five in the UK, but six. Yes, yes, the UK is uh, UK is one hour in front of the Central European time, so that is always six. Akana, yes, but why there, Johnny Jones? It's a good question. Okay, we will we will come back to that, Akana. I I promise. Sher Sherian radar access. The only blasters you need are cis disruptors. Actually, I'm wielding a disruptor right now. If I if I if I uh, recall correctly. So why is she ranked last? Let's ask about that. What contest was that? You cool cool beings. The Ikani are harsh, says Akana. Because she is easily distracted by matters that do not concern her or her duty. Such distractions weaken her and she knows this. Distractions are not weakening you. They are giving you extra experience and all experience, no matter which uh, color, are, strengthening, are ultimately strengthening you. So you are all mistaken, guys. Distractions as... Such as I will not speak of them. Ask her yourself <laughs> speak of if them. it matters to you. Are they distracting you yourself? Come on, you you find my my mask dashing. Just say it. I had some other questions for you. You may ask. Thank you. So y she's enjoying our conversation. Otherwise, she wouldn't allow it. Uh, this place again. Yeah, we this have was to once satisfy a mighty Akana. irrigation center for Telos. It's yeah, we heard this. But why is Atris here? Shortly before the destruction. Yeah, we heard this. And now there you go. Mm, why here? Even the Sith prefer live prey to scavenging a corpse. She thought that a world already savaged by the Sith would not prove a target a second time. It was oh. a place where the artifacts and the teachings of the Jedi could be kept safely if the Sith could not be turned aside. Ah! Yeah, that was that was yes, rather smart. Many relics from Dantooine. Oh, Some why did I date choose even this? The that was already asked. Uh, what's Osses? Uh, Osses was something that was destroyed before, right? Why were the relics brought brought here? How did I just know that I had some other questions before, right? Well, we can ask about Osses. We got here accidentally, so Osses was once the home of much of the Jedi teaching and knowledge. Up. It was destroyed over 40 years ago by the Sith, during the time of Exar Kun. Fortunately, a few relics and artifacts were saved before Ossus was destroyed, but many were not. So the same fate as Dantuin. Okay, so it happened twice. I had some other questions you for you. You may ask. Alrighty. Why don't you ask me anything? Aren't you interested in a nice conversation? Uh, about Atis, yeah. What do you What do you do here? We serve the Jedi. Oh, you serve. Okay, I need uh, something from the pizza place and uh, you serve what Jedi? There's not many here. Atris is the only Jedi here. This is true, but the mistress will bring others in time. Sorry, that was my idea. That's my plan, not hers. I had to convince her. To get other Jedi's here. You mean Atris and I are the only Jedi here? <laughs> I'm also. I hope to learn the ways of the Jedi again from Atris. Atris couldn't bring a deck fly to garbage. 
Let alone Jedi to this place. Not bad, not bad. Are you training to become a Jedi? I had other questions for you. Okay. Yeah, I take the first one. I, I, let, let me be a little bit of a jerk here. A dick. You mean Atris and I are the only Jedi here? You are no Jedi. Atris has made that clear. When you went to war, you gave up the mantle of the Jedi and became But look at else. my mantle now! It looks very Jedi! Come on! Hello, Tyne! Hello! That mask looks heavy! Nah, it's it's super, it's super uh, comfortable, I can tell. The Ishani are hot, says Sharon Radiac. Uh, hot Ishani in a cold place. I would rather call them ice queens, just to be, to be honest. Bit of a one-sided conversation, haha, <laughs> says Brains Boon. I kinda says you'll get more perspective on the why there question much later on, Jordy Jones. Alright, alright. But I did my best to find out right now, right? So you are satisfied. Are you training to become a Jedi? I assume you meant no insult. No. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Oh. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess. We are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. Oh, I was about to say, what a cool thing and what reason, whatever reason could exist to not allow someone to become a Jedi because that is ultimately a very personal decision, right? It's not something that gets decided for you. But this reason here makes sense, makes sense because Jedi for all their power also have weaknesses and they surround themselves with an army of handmaidens that actually help them with these weaknesses. And if they were to become a Jedi, that would, de that would defeat your, the purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, why would it be an insult so you aren't Jedi and there aren't any others here? Okay, your purpose? We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atris's will should it be necessary. Atris believes the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. Um, Brain Spoon said, I think your mantle is Jedi, Jordy. Thank you, Brain Spoon. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Uh, X XD, hello, thank you for joining us today. Jer Jiraiya Sin, hello, thank you for speaking up. They are all ice queens, says Jiraiya Sin. Yeah, well, necessarily so, because they are living in the snow. Fig Figrid of Sweden, hello Figrid. Thank you for joining us and speaking up. Oh boy, more more from uh, from Sweden. You should You should have a talk with Heimdall, please. He's also from Sweden. Brainspoon says, "I feel my purpose is not to be Jedi too." Yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool purpose, right? Being a this is a great purpose, says Jiraiya Sin. Well, we will find out. She's the one who needs balance. Yeah, I'm not sure I understand. And who watches you? So you aren't Jedi, and there aren't any others here. Yeah, who watches the Watcher? That is always a good. That's always a good question. Atris is the one we serve, and she guides our actions. Uh huh. Does dictatorship ring a bell? Just saying. But Atris is a Jedi, and you are supposed to watch Jedi. Yeah. Atris yeah. is trusted. Let's bring that logic she down. She has watched Jedi rise and fall, and knows the ways of both paths to see the signs when they begin. She is a worthy one to judge the Jedi. When the Jedi refuse to judge their own. Uh huh. I don't know. You're putting your eggs in into one basket too much, little little girl. If she's truly unbiased, then she may yet prove a good judge. Sounds like a pyramid of bizarre cards to me. I take this without uh, reading the other thing. I do not understand the reference. <laughs> of course Bizarre not. cards would not be good building material for a pyramid. You don't say. You are onto something. Think, think further. Take another minute, girl. I will wait here silently, quietly, waiting for you to get it. Because the pyramid would be weak. Yes. Ah, uh, do I really have to explain it? And that's what you have when one of the judged is in charge of the judges. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's say two at least. I do not expect a criminal to understand. 
You have existed a outside criminal. the circle of the Jedi for too long. Yeah, okay, now let's, you know, lash out and give everyone a label that, that you can push away easily. Very well done. Very well done. That's how you, uh... Have a conversation. Hello, Goblin Love! I am fine today. I'm happy to be back playing Star Wars Knight of the Old Republic here. I was waiting for this. <clears throat> Light side for life! Says XD. Yep. Seems so. I, I mean, I can do whatever I want. During the whole playthrough now, I only heard uh, the jingle for the la the sound effect for the for getting dark side points just once in total. Hello, Sang Haili one one two. Just once, and that is because I did it intentionally so that you guys can hear it. Otherwise, always light side points. And I have to say, the light side jingle is way better. Uh, and so has Atris. I mean, there aren't any Jedi here now, are there? So you aren't Jedi, and there aren't any others here. Okay, first one. I want to continue this. Uh, Atris is argument. the only Jedi here. This is true, but the Mistress will bring others in time. Oh, that's the same answer that you gave me before. I'm also. I hope to learn the ways of the Jedi again. Atris couldn't bring a deck fly to Garvid. Oh man, I want to say this because I am effectually. And ultimately the one who brings the Jedi here, and not her. Nah, I'm not I'm not talking bad about, about her when she's not around. That's that's bad. Alright, alright. I had some other questions. I don't want to say the, th the third one. That's too too light sidey. I had some other questions you for you. Ask? Hello Dark Nase, Kurai Hana! How's it going? Thank you for joining us today. Goblin Love says, oh come on, there is a little dark side in all of us. I want to answer you, I want to answer this, or reply to this, with a sound effect from <clears throat> The Witcher 1, which goes, oh! Um, okay, let's continue here. You may ask, I had some questions about, um, why do you all look the same? We share the same father. And we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. All the same father? Well, this is paradise! This is paradise! Wait! Wait, wait, wait. When they all bear the face of the, of the, of the mother, and they all look alike, so the mother is also the same one, right? <laughs> wow, they were very active. I, I don't want to go deeper into the reproductive process of, of the Ashani, but it sounds very interesting to me. Sounds very interesting to me. But the one hand handmaiden who challenged us when we arrived, she looks different. Well, she might have other... As parents. I have said, yeah. it is not unusual for the Ashani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. Aha, uh -huh. so... <laughs> Do I really want to go deeper into this and play the dumb person? I know what she's hinting at. That's not much of an answer. So yeah, I, I go deeper. I make her say it. So she had a different set of parents? If you seek to raise anger <laughs> in me, you will fail, Exile. Oh, come I on, girl. Play along. only upon orders of the mistress. She did not order me. To endure your questions. Oh, come on. This is mean. They are clones, says Dark Nase. And they seem to be of the same age, too, says Sharon Radiac. Yeah, I was actually. The theory that I'm formulating in my head here is that she are having them all at once in batches, you know. Hello, Spectrum Legacy. Thank you for joining us. Welcome back, I have to say. You say, hi, yeah, as always, I'm fashionably late. Is Jordi on the path to the dark side already? Yeah, we just discussed this already, Spectrum Legacy, and uh, I mentioned that all the jingles that I heard in the game uh, for getting force points were always on the light side. Always, just once, as an exception. 
Georgie Jones, go deeper, deeper. <laughs> she wants it. Okay, okay. If you say so. <clears throat> I meant no offense. That sounds like a challenge to me. I had some other... Yeah, that is actually... No, I'm not apologizing for you getting out of line here. I just, I was just asking. If you are not able to just say, no, I won't answer this, and get angry over me inquiring even further without signaling that you want to end it, then it's your fault, not mine. So, following that train of thought, that sounds like a challenge I to me. I welcome a chance to instruct you. Instruct me? I have been anxious <laughs> to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Nice. I did not invade. Yeah, she has a nice way of saying, uh, I'm going to spank ya. I could, I could use a good sparing match, yeah, of course. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. Hmm, only the basic teachings. We'll see if I am good enough for the basics. Oh, look at my Before underpanties. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? Nope. No, what, what are they? Does it have anything to do with why you want me to disrobe? <laughs> yeah, I'm saying this. All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. Uh huh. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Yeah, let's Your feet strip off all my are advantages. Not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Mm -hmm. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Good. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. Yeah, of course not. I'm not taking your life in a in a sparring match. God damn it. Fine. If you're ready, so am I. Let's do this. I forget it, I've changed my mind. I understand. Stay on the mat, no armor, no striking to kill. Of course not. Teach her a lesson Jedi style, says Jiraiya Sin. Well, we will see. Fight, 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 says Jiraiya Sin. Cheap Tricks 98, uh, 91. Hello, thank you for joining us. You say, I love this game so much, this first is just as good. Yeah, this game is awesome. I agree, Tpix91. And I'm happy that you are here and able to see this and follow this with us. Hello versus Mike. Guten Abend. Hello, G Pudding. I'm fine. I'm actually pretty, pretty good. I'm happy to play this here. And I'm happy to... Uh, Spank this little handmaiden here and teach her a lesson. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons. Of course, take or away items. all my. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be well, over. Well, what else is In there? Time, I am my equipment. I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Am I allowed to use force? The force? She said uh, light uh, forms, right? Nah. Wait. <coughs> Chat, do you know if I am allowed to um, use force skills? I think she said that I don't. But I took it as. Hmm. I took it as not uh, lightsaber forms. Give her a body slam, then finish her with a swanton bomb. Boom! <laughs> Says Jiraiyasin. XD uh, said, I found an article with all of Geralt's hairstyles. I don't know why people want to change Geralt's hairstyle. The, the default one is pretty good in Witcher 3. Cheat Tricks 91, I have beaten this game as both light and darks at least two or three times each. That's well, some dedication there, Cheat Tricks. No force, says Sharon Radaik. Okay. We can't use force, says Spectrum Legacy. Only unarmed combat. Man, of course. Yeah, if you're ready, so am I. Let's, Let's do it. Begin. And how does how does this work now? I can use grenades. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty I'm terribly unequipped for this, <clears throat> and I'm not allowed to use force, no shields, weapons, anything. I can only use. Yeah, using the other stuff is pretty dumb because they all give def um, um, penalties. Let's see. Feats. This is a defense minus one. Oh my god, never. 
This gives a uh, minus 2 to defense while using this feat and for 3 seconds afterwards. Minus 4 penalty to all attacks that round. Nah, that's also bad. And we have a power attack. Damage plus the minus 3 to hit. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's have a look if an attack already happened. Might be. No, it didn't. Alrighty. So we have to wait and see what she's got. So all that remains is... Um, is the basic attack. <laughs> Punch till they give up technique, Sister Ryasin. Okay. Grenades lol, that would be cheap shot. Don't worry, Jedi get unarmed combat perks for free. That's too shary and relic. Let's um, show that real quick on this on the stream. Feats. There you go. We have an unarmed that we got for free every time we leveled. Or at some point when we leveled up. <clears throat> And at the moment we are at Unarmed Specialist 3, that gives us the following. The character has refined their hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques and is able to do an extra 3 to 12 damage when using unarmed attacks. This bonus replaces the one gained from level 2 of the feat and is automatically gained at 10th level. Also, we have Master Force Jump, but we need a lightsaber for this. What else could help us? Dual Strike, but we don't have a teammate around, so that is not going to help. We get some defense, automatic defenses for being a Jedi. But that is it. That is it. Two weapon fighting is not going to help us. Although although I have here two weapons. Two weapons of destruction. Right? <coughs> Spam power attacks. Nah, T-Trix. 91. I, that gives me minus two defense. This is a tough fight. I always had issues with it. Especially if you aren't a melee developed character. With my character, Unarmed Comet does only 10 damage less than my lightsaber. Ooh, Sharon Radak. Nice. With, even with all the weapon upgrades. Okay. So, the thing that we, we want to quick save. It's saved. And let's see what happens. Ouch! And I hit her. Nice. So, now I'm, I'm stopping this here because I want to see what really happened. I'm going into the <coughs> battle log. And let's have a look. Handmaiden Sister succeeds with attack on Master Jordy. Power attack used. Hit with 29 versus defense 22 for damage 16. So she became, uh, she rolled a 29 because she rolled a 14 and she has a base attack of 18. Power attack minus 3, strength mod 5. Oh yeah, she has, um, wow, she has a great strength modifier. I have defense 22 because I have high dex. Oh, that dex actually cancels out the strength. That's nice. Classics. Okay. Feats and effects mod. Okay. So she uh, just needs to roll 13, 15. She needs to roll a fifth. No, she needs to know a, a seven. A seven or better to hit. So yeah, she has a very good chance of hitting most of the time. And me. Hit with 27 versus defense 25. Oh my goodness. So I need to roll a 13 to hit. Yeah, I will lose this. <laughs> it's just just as easy as that. And she has dex mod 5, so she has strength 5 and she has dex 5. And I, I, oh man, and that bonus damage was actually pretty good. So, and hers were bad. Yeah, I'm so losing this. I don't think I can do anything about it. I'm just... I, I'm not allowed to do anything else than my basic attack. 10. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, she missed. And I missed. Damn it. She hit again. The, the only help here could be that she has less health than I have. But I don't think that's, that's a thing. Ouch! My life is going down! No! She's winning! Come on, RNG! Yes! Let her hit, let her fail! Let her miss! Yes, he missed! And I missed! No! Why do I miss when she missed? 40! She hit for 40! Can you believe that? I think I'm done. Yeah, there you go. You have fallen. 
You don't say. Boy, that was that was really nasty. She hit for 40 with that next to last attack. Let me heal up and I'll be ready to fight again. Yeah. Uh, Sharian Radar X says, I think she has a lot less health than you. Lol, I've never lost this fight, says Cheatrix91. Thank you, Cheatrix. G putting the Jolly Jones, you need to use stims before you start the fight and then go with grenades when things get tough. Yeah, I, am I allowed to use the grenades? She, there, there was talk of no no weapons and all, all of that. Jolly Jones, and use special attacks. No, that, that lowers my defense though. Could also just put difficulty down to easy. Nah, that was that would be these fights are really hard, says Sharon Radiac. Hello HWGC It is a nasty fight. Let me heal up. I want to win this. Seek <coughs> one of us out when you wish to fight, and we shall honor your request. That was that was nice. I mean, my force points aren't good for anything, so I can just use them up to heal, right? During that fight. Let me have a look. There's only the one sister here. How about this one sister? Wait, is this... I can't move. Oh, there you go. Okay. How about this handmaiden? Huh? Okay, yeah, heal up. Nice. I think they will erase all the b buffs that I have, but I will quick save real quick and then use a stim. Alacrity? No, I want strength. There you go. Uh, adre adrenal strength. Adrenal, ad adrenal, adrenal strength. There you go. Uh, adrenal strength and uh, my force weller, if I can. That would be awesome. Okay, talk. You are the ex Oh, the she's the last no, I don't have time for this. Oh, I have don't have time for this. Oh man. No, let's quick load. Let's I want out of this. I yes, she's the last. Ask. You may ask. Never mind, I'll be going. Please. Ah, let me out of this. Not I now. Know. Just leave me be. F9. Quick load. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> and use the melee shield. Yeah, melee shield is a good idea. I, th I think they will erase that. That's a little bit cheesy, I have to say. It's a little bit cheesy in my eyes. Strength. Oh, I only have energy shield um, on me on myself right now, but I could I can change that right now, right? Melee shield. Yeah, it's a little bit cheesy. Strength, Night Veller. Nice. Have you returned to fight again? Yes, I wish to challenge you Very again. Well. Very well. It shall be the same as before. Yeah. Ready? So then am let I. Let us begin. Let us begin. Yeah, they erased all the uh, bonuses. <clears throat> I have no shield. I have no. Of course they did. That is that is good uh, good programming. Oh this yeah! I start with a 40! Again! I want to know what this is. I want to know what this 40 damage thing is. This is ridiculous. Uh, wait, where is it? Here. No. Here. Messages lock, combat. Oh, she rolled a 19 and that is a crit or something. No, wait, where's the 40? Oh, it's down here. Threat, threat, roll 20 versus required 20. Oh, she she does 40 damage when she rolls a 20. I understand. And she did it again. <clears throat> right at the start. But, the nice movements, I have to say. They look good. This will teach you. Ouch! Another crit? Seriously? And when I crit it, I, I don't do the automatic basic attack? Ugh. What the hell? She's missing all the time. She just needs to hit me once. 
there you go. You have fallen. I wish to challenge you there. Very well. I it shall be the same as before. No, I'm not ready. Seek. Oh man. <coughs> Yes, I'm not using my special attacks because my special attacks she putting are shit. If I use them, they automatically get um, uh, penalties for using them. Like if I use my critical strike, for example, I get a minus five to defense, and they always get a chance to roll against that. That's uh, I'm only uh, presenting them with the problem of overcoming a, a difficulty class roll. And I automatically get a minus 5 to defense with this, and the flurry gets gives me a minus 4 penalty to hit. Together with the minus 2 to defense, and the power attack gives me a minus 3 to hit. And I don't have... I really don't have a good chance. I have to roll a 13 on a basic attack to hit her. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm only spoiling it for myself if I am to, if I were to use power attacks. I don't think that is po a Have good idea. Have you returned to fight again? Use special attacks to SG pudding. No. Very. It shall be the Ready, so am I. Then let us begin. <clears throat> I just need to have uh I miss. I need I need to have um <sighs> What am I trying to say? A series of non-crits from her. When she's not critting, I feel like I can do it. So she hits for 10. I hit for 12. She hits for 10. That's good. For 16. God damn it. For 11. Okay. 10. For 9. Good, good. Ah, uh, this is so close! This is so close! For 10! I miss! No! Don't miss, Jordy! Oh, she missed too! I- Yes! I can do it! No! Don't <laughs> miss, Jordy! Not again! Not again! Yeah. Oh, yeah, she misses! 10! Come <laughs> on! Yeah, yeah! One more! No! Don't miss! Ah, yeah! No! I can do it! Yeah. Don't miss again! No! <laughs> this is BS! Tarion Radar Egg, Jordy Jones, do you have other equipment that might be useful for defense or melee? Trying the same thing over and over, lol, that's a great logic. Cheatrix, usually that's the definition of being insane, right? Expecting different results from when you do something the same over and over again, right? Right, right, yeah, I know, know about that. And you're right. That's what you get for not wearing pants, says Mazayas. Thank you, Mazayas. Seek. <clears throat> I think we will spend some time in this fire. That was really close, guys. Really. So they. Okay, the other things. I am not allowed to use shields. So let me see. Maybe on my mask. That was actually a good idea, Sharon Radiac. We have to uh, find that out here. I get a def defense bonus uh, from my mask, so I don't think that I will find something that is better for melee. So I will keep that on. <coughs> I have a um, plus constitution implant. So we will keep that. Oh, ma oh we have um, unarmed combat. Uh, gloves somewhere, but I get dexterity here, awareness and wisdom. Okay, detonator gloves. Ah, oh, I don't have the heavy armor proficiency. Okay, I think I think uh, Atten had the other uh, gloves, so I can't put them on. Sorry. Maybe it's a belt. Maybe a belt can help me. Oh, this is also plus dexterity. Okay. Fortitude, fortitude. He has also constitution. Uh, okay. Trading one dexterity for one constitution, maybe? Oh, no, I'm at 20. I cannot... I need that defense. So, no. 
Nothing really that is better than what I'm wearing right now. <clears throat> Metal Eddie says, I remember spending a whole day on it. Oh, man. What's your implant? I'm, I'm, I'm My implant has plus constitution on it. Oh, never mind. You could go get Atten. I could. But I remember that the... the let me heal up in the meantime. I remember that the gloves that give um, plus to melee um... Also have a penalty to hit on it on them. Let's load real quick and see what the next round just said. I I don't I think Having I am at the fight again. peak of my <clears throat> melee prowess right now. The, it then let us let us begin. So guys, guys. I was, ab was about to say I'm going to use power attacks now, but it, it really isn't that great. I, it's, I need to roll a 16 with the power attacks, and they only give plus 3 damage when I hit. That's not a lot. Okay, that, this doesn't look good. I'm missing a lot. Damn it. No, come on, Jordi. You are not a master. You are an abomination. 38? What the hell? And I lost my basic attacks because I was too slow and she critted me in my... You have fallen. Maybe, I, when, maybe when I return here I can do this again? I don't know guys. I shall save again and then uh, leave this place. Power attack also increases the crit multiplier. Does it? Beats. <coughs> but attacks are made with a penny. Additionally, the critical multiplier is increased by one. It does. Finally, on a critical hit, the target is knocked back unless they make a fortitude save. All right. Okay. I will once more just Have use power attacks because again? you said so, guys. There. It's then I will do it. I will do it for the chat. For the chat. No. I missed. She hit. This will teach I missed. you. I missed. She. No. Okay, I, I hit for 15 for the first time and I hit again. I missed. I missed. Another miss. For ten? What? What the hell? What the? What kind of power attack is this? And I'm almost done for. Twelve. Now I hit for sixteen. It's really not worth it, guys. Thirteen. I miss. <laughs> she hits. And I miss. <laughs> It was a nice period yeah. there. Oh, and now she hits. Oh, I'm still up. No, I miss. And that's that. See you, you guys. Fallen. Yeah, yeah, she has a, a strength bonus of five. And my strength bonus is maybe 11 or something. Let me show you. <coughs> oh, even. Oh, see, I'm at 10. I don't even get a strength bonus, so I'm very ill-equipped for melee, uh, melee fights. So, seeing my stats, I actually perform very well, I have to say. Okay, uh, let's put on my armor. We, maybe we can return to this later on, maybe. Look at this, I'm not allowed to wear my armor and the best bonuses are on my armor. Constitution, Dexterity and Strength. All 3 plus 2. And a defense bonus on it. You are the exile, the one Atris warned us about. Yeah, Sharon Radiac. Radi All my dice rolling powers are stuck in the Witcher. That's true. Uh, okay, let's uh, investigate. 
Well, the last of the handmaidens. I am the last of the handmaidens. This is correct. I train so that one day that will no longer be true. Are the other kids mean to you? The other said you were easily distracted from your training. It dishonors me that they would say such a thing to an outsider. But I cannot deny the truth in what they say. My thoughts are not always focused on training. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what occupies my thoughts. So I was saying that I loved how the other handmaiden that I talked to was uh, having a lisp. But I find her voice even sexier, I have to say. Wow. Awesome. What do you mean? There is much knowledge here, and only one of the Jedi remain. There is so much about their ways of battle, their forms, their stances, that may be lost forever if the last of the Jedi is taken from the galaxy. Yeah, so you admire Jedi. That's cool. I am a Jedi. Battle is not the truth of the Jedi teaching. I believe it to be the farthest things from it. Combat is not the Jedi way and it is not my way. Is this what occupies your thoughts? To lose those combat techniques would be tragic indeed. When the methods to inflict violence on others is limited, it weakens us all. Wow, that's truly this here. And you would preserve it? If you are afraid of the Jedi lore being lost, why don't you try and learn some of that lore? Ooh, let's tempt her. Is this what occupies your thoughts? It's just to the Ichani, battle is a means of communication. It is an art in the truest sense of the word. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. They speak one's heart and one's devotion to their cause. Hmm. I don't necessarily agree. Combat is not the best way to communicate with others. Yes, I can. I can imagine more pleasurable ways of communication. Let me show you one. Uh, so you consider slaughter a means of expression? Wow. Devotion? I prefer obedience. Ha ha ha. I agree. It shows how far you are willing to go for your goals. Okay. Combat is not the best way to communicate with others. Yeah, I, lo I like that. It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrace was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. It was brutal, without finesse, but showed his commitment to defeat the Jedi. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing, like weaving threads in a tapestry, or strokes upon a canvas. He spoke through battle and tactics, in a way one could never do in words. He showed his heart at Malachor V, and finally, at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I believe he was speaking to Malak in that final battle. Though few knew it. Don't you see that for the sole purpose of understanding the other person, millions of people die? Is this is this in some kind of relation to each other? Huh? What do you think? Do you have to consider the negatives before you speak about the positive? Oh man. Just use your mouth and speak the words, girl. Instead of trying to see something in combat. Revan turned on Malak once a friend and killed him. Malak was slain and that is all that was said. Revan and Malak were driven only by the dark side. The force drove Malak to do what needed to be done and that is all. What do you think Revan was saying? I would not ascribe too much poetry to their hate and violence. Yeah. Indeed. Poetry is wordplay that cloaks feeling in riddles. Battle speaks. And its feeling is true. Revan knew this when facing Malak and slaying him. What stronger display than death for conveying one's sense of being betrayed by one's own student? Revan's anger must have been great indeed. I would have wished to have been there for that final exchange and seen the truth of their conflict with each other. PST RKS, RKS, hello! And did no, this is not the Witcher. It is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Metalatic says, Jolly Don, this is like a younger Kreia or something. Metalatic, hmm. Sharon Raider Egg, Jolly Jones, I think you heavily misunderstand her. Really? Do I? 
She says there's beauty in combat, and I see. I say there are casualties in combat. Who who is right here? P S T R K S. Lol, just joking. Okay. Yeah, this. I mean, it has a resemblance to the Witcher, but his hair is not long enough. His hair is not long enough. Um, we're driven only by the dark side. Let me ask you something else. I've heard enough. This conversation is over. So, I d can't say this because in my Knights of the Old Republic one playthrough, uh, Revan was actually a, a good guy. You may ask. Let me... Let us leave it at that. You said Atris warned you about me. What did she say? Are you the last... I heard you know something of the relics Artis has stored here. You look different than the other women here. Yeah, yeah. And you have a better voice. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. Uh-huh, okay, uh, let's go over here. In this nice cozy little room over there. So you have a different mother, but the same father. So, she said it's not something spoken of in the company of others, and I just continue investigate no i apologize i meant no offense there's no need to apologize you were merely remarking on something that you saw there is no wrong in that indeed good evening shishimaru 100 thank you for joining us jordi it's not killing she's talking about have you never heard of martial arts ah uh, well but the the type of combat she is talking about the type of combat that Ravan and Malak were uh, undertaking. That was the lethal kind. I'm sorry to break it to you. Yeah, I understand that Sherry and Radiac, but it would be preferable if you could figure that out without putting people on the line, people's lives on the line. Is it a sensitive subject? It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. Well, how about I take some time for you? You may ask. Alrighty. But that was a good answer. I, I accept it. <coughs> you said Atris warned you about me. What did she say? She said you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. She's just teasing you. I'm really not a bad guy. <laughs> She's exagger exaggerating. I went to war to protect others, not to fight. Going to war was necessary. I don't want to talk about it. I would like to ask you something. She's exaggerating. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. Speaking of animal instincts... How about that room over there that I was talking about? <laughs> Sherry and Jordi, she brought up those as examples because the way they fought showed more than what they said. Of course, combat doesn't need to be lethal to be read that way, but it doesn't mean you should stop reading because they are actually u using lethal force. Yeah, but she is she's presenting this as a superior form of communication to the usual the default way of communication, just talking to each other. It might be more arduous and you might need more to put more effort into finding out real intentions of persons by just speaking to them than interpreting their way of combating. But I would be willing to go that route over uh, having other people combat, going to combat. That's my argument here. Metal Addict! This is says to Sherry and Radaik. This is why I compare her to Kreia. Kreia would say something can learn much about someone by the way they act in the face of conflict. Yeah, Kreia's actually uh, one step further down her route in saying that uh, conflict actually changes yourself and trains you and, and strengthens yourself. You have to uh, be in battle with other people so that you can get better. Conflict strengthens someone. That is her uh, ideology. And may I may I point out that uh, the Handmaidens and Kreia's ideolo ideologies 
um, are com compatible to each other. So that's not always uh, no loyalty. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. I fell to the dark side. What? That is that is something new to me. Explain that to me.